Chanting Hill, which is a six-year-old mare by Milan uh, from a dam side family that we know well. We trained a nice horse from the family called Seeking Gold a few years ago. Her dam's by Westerner. She's uh, the second in a... No, she, sorry, she won a, an English point-to-point point and we bought her uh, last summer. Um, she gets on very well with Amy, who rides her almost every day. And uh, that first time out last season, we were really pleased that she stayed on to be a good fourth at air. After that, she lost away a bit, and I'm still not quite sure whether it was just an acclimatisation issue or whether uh, she had a problem or whether she didn't like the heavy ground she was having to run on. Either way, she seems in great form this autumn. She's going to go novice chasing, maybe one run in a hurdle first. We'll see how we go. Um, but I've, I have I think she'd leave her form for the last two races behind her and should prove well handicapped. This is final reminder. Eight-year-old mare by Goldwell, one of my favourite sires. She was really good for us two summers ago. She won three hurdles in a row, culminating in a good win at Aintree. Form of that race worked out very well. Unfortunately, she's had a bit of leg trouble since, but we've given her plenty of time now. And, uh, you know, with any luck, she should stay sound and she should make a very nice uh, mare to go novice chasing with. And, I, uh, you know, I'd hope she jumps well. She won a point to point in Ireland before she came to us. I'd really like to think that she'll rate higher over fences than she did over hurdles. And uh, she'd have a, a lovely career as a broodmare after that with three wins to her name already. Let's hope she can add to that over fences this winter. She wants slightly better ground and uh, three miles. This is Elvis Mail, six-year-old son of Great Pretender from a prolific winning family. Um, we bought in France at Arcana three years ago now and um, he's been a lovely horse for us he won three novice hurdles he um, won two very good handicap hurdles last season because he's got his champion hurdle trial he's a masses of size and scope he's got a lovely attitude he travels strongly in his races he jumps well he's going to go novice chasing now and I mean uh, you know we've just got to touch wood with him because he's he's as nice a a young horse as, as I've ever had in the yard. He um he we just you know need he we just need him to be lucky and he could compete at a high level. His only blip was he failed to travel south when we took him down to Newbury, but uh we'll have to try and work a way around that because he certainly deserves to compete against the best horses in the land. This is Gypsy Lee Rose, um, six-year-old grey mare by Walk in the Park. Uh, she won a point-to-point -point and a hurdle in Ireland, was quite highly tried then in a listed hurdle and came to Kiniston in uh, the sort of, I think, summer 2019. She was a bit disappointed. She ran very nicely the first time out in a wait for age novice chase at Kelso and then emptied very suddenly uh, just at the second last, looking like she didn't stay. She then didn't build on that run at all, so I, we were a bit left a bit puzzled by the end of the season. We, she's had a small wind operation now, and I th just hoping that might be the key. We're slightly stabbing in the dark because it could just have been acclimatization. It could have been the soft ground, but we're very much hoping that she can progress in mares races this season. She could go over hurdles, but she's a very good jumper of a fence. So I imagine most of her time will be spent chasing. This is not the Shabley, um, one of the amusingly named horses in the yard. Uh, he's by Scorpion. He uh, is six now, and um, he won a hurdle at Musselburgh on the 1st of January. Uh, pulled up after that. I think I took him back there too quickly. He won a bumper before that, so he's plenty of talent. He just needs to want to do it on the day, so he wore cheek pieces when he won, and I would expect... Headgear might be a bit of a feature with him. He jumps very well, so he'll go over over fences quite soon. We might have one run over hurdles first, but novice chaser for this season. Should still prove well handicapped. Um there's uh you know, he's here is schooling, he's he's um he's he, 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 I'd like to think that there's 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 races to be won with him this winter and hopefully he'll run run around Musselbrook because we like having runners there. Silk or Scarlet. Um He's unlucky not to have won a race. He's been second twice. Uh, he unfortunately, uh, this time last year, I think it was that we discovered that he had a, a small, uh, a minor uh, 
injury that we we chose to take the patient route and gave him the whole season off. He's come back. He's a bit heavy, but uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to to get him into shape again. But uh, he's he's working well. He would plan would be to go novice chasing this time. Uh, he jumps well. He two and a half miles, maybe two six, probably his trip. Um, wants a bit of cut in the ground, um, but does wouldn't want it heavy, and uh, pro, pro, you know, hopefully he'd be out sort of early November, I suspect, before we have him ready.